the Twilight series is a cultural phenomenon. Yes, the first three films have made $1.8 billion, and yet I hadn't seen one yet. That changed last night. I saw Breaking Dawn Part 1 and then sat down with the young stars today. I am a Twilight virgin. Yeah. Oh, my, no. Yes. No way. It was my first one. Really? My That's first awesome. One. And the fans would be thrilled because there was the shirtless scene. Like, right off the bat. Very quick, though. Very yeah. quick. Don't blink because it, you know. But it's there. It's there. It's there. <laughs> Do you want to go first one? Yeah, that sounds nice. For you, the, the, the scene that everyone talks about was the love scene as it broke in the headboard and all the craziness there. Uh, how was that for you guys to shoot? The sex scene doesn't even exist in the book. It's, it's something that everyone imagines, which is why it's in the movie. It couldn't have not been. And I understand you all had to cut it down a little bit because it was so racy beyond. I think it's because people thought the audience is so young, and there are, there are definitely a lot of young audience members. But at the same time, I think the audience is older than people realize. Uh, right? Yeah. Now, was that your fault or Kristen's fault for the nearly R rating? Um, I don't know. I don't think we were really trying to <laughs> for an R rating. So in Breaking Dawn, you get this dreamy marriage, this beautiful wedding, and then you get the honeymoon, all the steamy sex scenes, and then there's the, a vampire baby all setting the table for the final installment, Breaking Dawn Part 2, which comes out next November, but you only have to wait no 14 days till November 18th for Part 1.